Hi everybody, it's Vicki, Director of the Institute, and you're joining me for an instructional video today to learn how to create a pretty picture, any kind of promotional content that you would like to use on any of your social media using free uh, software called canva.com. So you can see on the screen now in front of you, in my little URL here, we have canva.com. So that is the address to go to, to be able to use this. You will need to sign up and create an account to first use it. It is free. You can sign up using Facebook or Gmail if you like, or you can just sign up with an email. Now, once inside, you will have something that looks very similar to mine. Now, of course, as you can see, I'll scroll up and down for you. There is a lot, a lot <laughs> of designs that I have made over the years. Well, over the last two years that I've been using this. So there's lots of different things here that you can create and I'm gonna give you a look. So let's have a little orientation so that you can see what you can do with Canva. Now, they're always adding new designs. So there's lots of different things that you can create here for any kind of marketing that you need to do for free or for minimal cost. Now up the top, you can see popular designs. You can do a social media post. Now this one here is the square one, which is most popular for posting on Instagram or any time that you need an actual square piece. The presentation is actually a PDF, but you can save it in a PNG or a JPEG. So any of these can be saved in either formats, but some of them specifically are created in certain dimensions so that they will print in good quality when you print them out as a poster or a postcard or a letter or an invitation or a business card. They are all already done so that they will print correctly and in good quality pixels at that size. So just keep that in mind, it's all done for you. Now, if you have to create something specifically that is not here, what you can do is go over to the right hand side, use custom dimensions, and then you can actually put in your own dimensions. When I was creating a banner poster, that was a specific size with Officeworks where I had it printed up, I simply got the dimensions that would be on the printable part of the banner and I put them into here so I could create the, the type of uh, shape that I needed that would print at the right pixels for a large banner print and it worked really, really well. So keep that in mind if you need to tailor something specifically. So you've got all kinds of different social media posts here from Twitter banners and headers to Facebook apps and posts, also for Tumblr and Instagram and Pinterest. You've got different document uh, styles that you can create here from your PowerPoint presentations, right to resumes, certificates, different letterheads. It's all there for you. Blogging and eBooks, you would have an eBook template design. eBooks, particularly on Kindle, need to be a certain, uh, a certain dynamic. They're a little bit narrower and thinner than some of the regular ebook covers. So you've got them already created here for you as templates. You can even create a desktop wallpaper there if that was something that you were into for sending quote or quotable desktop wallpapers as a free gift every month to your subscribers. There's quite a few people out there who are designers that do that, but if you're a positivity coach, for example, and uh, you work with people holistically to uh, help them change their mindset to be more positive in their lives, using a lot of the positivity tools and mind body tools that you have learned in stage two, then doing a desktop wallpaper might be something lovely that you would like to do. You might create a series of them for each month of the year and that becomes your free gift as an opt-in, for example, all great ideas. So when you're doing blogs, you can actually create pictures for your blog title right there, even infographics. So an infographic is something that you can walk people through certain steps of and create something really visual and pretty and helpful, which is a valuable tool that you can give free to your clients or even if you wanted to create a series of them as a paid product that specifically dealt with issues you focus on within your coaching. Marketing materials for everything that you could possibly think of, right to logos, business cards that are correctly the right size to print up for wherever you wanna get them printed. So uh, everything that you could possibly want, gift vouchers and certificates, all of these things here you can use and they come with pre-designed templates, but you can also change the templates to, complete, to create something completely new. Okay, so let's create a social media post that is for a quote. So we click on the social media one 
it'll open up in a new window so that you can now start this design from fresh. Now, as you can see over the left-hand side, you have lots and lots of designs. Now, up here in the top, you could put in a specific word and, or, or a couple of words that would bring up the kind of templates or images that would be related to what you want to create so that you can use some of their designs. So let's put in health, for example. Now, you can see that there is usually these kinds of graphics up here first, and then it generally moves into pictures down below as we get through all of those little ones. Now, you can see that some of them have $1 USD. Now, all of Canvas pictures are either free or $1. So you can use any of their templates, any of their pictures, any of their symbols in their elements, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you can use the free ones or you can pay $1. So it's completely up to you. They do give you a discount if you order 10, 20 or more so that they come down a little bit less. But for $1 compared to you know, a lot more than that, if you were to use Shutterstock, for example, or any of those other uh, professional photos, different, different uses. You would use those for pictures for your website, for example, so that you make sure you have a copyright to use those pictures on your website. But for something like this that's gonna be on social media, you can't beat a dollar or all of the free content that you can create. So it kind of opens up a lot of possibilities for you to create uh, a very, cool brand that's recognizable across all social media platforms just by using Canva to make them a little bit more professional in how they look. So that's just giving you health. So if you click on one, it will open up. Now this happens to be a free one. So I could do anything with it whatsoever. You can just drag it so that you can place it anywhere on the, the screen in that particular design. And it, it's really great because it will automatically center things for you to let you know where things are. So if I wanted to create that and I just wanted to put some text over here on the side, you have layouts. And again, you have some paid and some free. So a free layout, you can use it, any element on it, any color, you can change the color schemes, you can change it. You'll notice this one here, the happy birthday, my love. You will see in our private Facebook group that I recently, only about two weeks ago, used this template and the pictures to create a Meetup Monday where I asked you all to put underneath where you were from and if you'd like to connect with other people around uh, the world who are doing this course so that you can connect with practical coaching. That's the template I used. It was free. I simply changed the font, the colors, added in a couple more things and downloaded it so I could use it. So I have that template now inside. In fact, I'll actually show you so that you can see by going back to my own designs. And that way you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the exact picture that I used to create our Monday meetup that I shared on our, in our private Facebook group. And so that's all I did. I just made a few changes to it and then I downloaded it. So that's what you can do. Now back to this design. If you wanna get rid of it, you just simply click on it and click delete or you click on it and go up to the, right, the top right hand corner. So you can use any one of these layouts and when you click on it, it will automatically put it there for you. It automatically fits. You can use any of the elements, the picture, whatever you'd like. Now, if you were to choose something else, it will simply overwrite over the top and you'll see that it has these squares on it. And the squares actually with the little, you can see the little watermark underneath Canva, that will automatically remove when you download after you've paid your $1 for the elements that you're using so that it will come out clear and you will have the right to use that image or those elements in that particular design that you've chosen. So don't worry about them there. Sometimes it's hard to imagine what your finished product will look like without the the grids, but the grids will stay there until you actually purchase. And to give you an idea of what that looks like, when you're ready and finished your design and you're ready to download it, to, to either download it for free or purchase whatever you've used, it will ask you to select the type. So you can see you've got JPEG, PNG, it'll give you the recommendation for whatever you're using, PDF, standard or print. So we'll go PNG. And when you select download, 
it comes up with this if you have a paid element. Otherwise, it will just download automatically if you're using anything free. So here is where, as you can see, I have some credit available. So you can choose to use some multi-use there. And of course, I'm not going to purchase that right now. I'll save my $7 and I'm going to delete that or get rid of the whole thing. In fact, I'm going to put a, a free replace just to get rid of it. Okay, so that's how you can choose a design to start working on. Now it gets a little tricky to use the texts and the colors. So I'm gonna walk you through that so that you know all the cool things you can do with Canva. And then it's just a matter of having a play. Now you can actually upload your own photos and this is where it gets fun. So you simply go to uploads, you click on upload your own image, select whatever picture that you'd like and open it and it will upload on the left-hand side. Now it usually will be in black and white until it's fully uploaded. And when you've chosen the one that you want to uh, use, you just click on it. Now, as you can see, this isn't really the right picture for my shape, but that's the beauty. You can actually just move it and place it wherever you would like. Okay, so there we go. Now we can move this text just simply by dragging it. Again, it will help you to center and that's all you need to do. Now, a really cool feature that they have, if you were going to create a front and a back page to a document, you would go over to the right hand side here and where it's got the two, it copy this page, you simply click that and automatically underneath, you have a second copy. Now, if you change the top copy, that will be all of its own design. The second copy will have the same format or style, but you can change the colors by clicking on it, going up to the color button, selecting any of the pre-designed sets there, or clicking on the plus button to the color wheel and moving around any kind that you would like and changing the color. So let's just choose that lovely green there. Okay. now. Again, down the bottom, you can change colors by doing that and it will break it up for you. So this can take a little bit getting used to in going back and, back and uh, forward, getting used to the colors, but it does come with practice. So don't be afraid to make whatever design you like. It doesn't get shared with anybody unless you'd like to share it with them. And that comes up to, you can also share stuff with a team if you wanted to use this with other people. Otherwise you can just share it here and put their email address in and they can, you can let them edit it or not edit it. So if you have a creative friend that you want to check over something and make any amendments or changes and you want their opinion, you can actually create your version, share it with them and let them make any changes to perfect it if you like, and then they can save it and share it back with you, or it'll just sync in your account as to whatever changes they made. So you can, you can actually use this if you do have a graphic designer that you're going to employ by actually doing half of the design for them. It might be cheaper for you for, to do most of the work and then just let them know what you'd like them to change to professionally top it up or make any changes. So you can do that. Now, some other cool features that's really important to note. When you click on one of the, the designs or the texts, you can actually copy it by going up here and copying. Immediately you'll have a second copy. Now it's really cool to use this if you wanted to do something like this. See how easy that is to just create that uh, little bit of dimensional shift there? So you can do anything like that. If you wanted to put some more text on, you come over here. Now, there are a lot of free different templates and styles and designs with fonts that you can use. And you can just simply select it. It'll immediately come on. You can change the wording, change the colors, and there you go, it's already done for you. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you can go up here to the top left to undo. If you don't wanna do that and you just wanna add something specifically, you can click on a little bit, a lot, or a big heading. 
So it's just a matter of whatever you'd like to create. So it'll have templates there. Now, if you don't like the font, again, just like the color, click on the tile, go up to the top. Now, your color wheel is here. You can change the size to whatever you want. And then you can also come over here and you can change the font. So there are a lot of different font styles here, which of course is part of your logo design will give you a different look and feel every single font. And again, the colors that you choose will also with the font create a different kind of look and feel. So you can use whatever you want. You can change it to whatever you want. So that's another cool thing that you can actually do. Now, if you wanted to add, um, let's see, a symbol, for example, let's go up to elements. So you can see that there are a lot of things in here that you can use as free elements to really make your, your picture stand out. So you can use shapes. So we'll click on shapes and we'll see what they are. So there's lots of different shapes in here. Now, if they're white, the white will add on a little block like that. Now, a really cool thing, over the top right here, this little transparency square here, if you click on that, you can actually change the transparency. So if you, for example, had a picture in the black, the background that was quite dark and you, did, you didn't want to use just white font writing over the top, you wanted to sort of soften the background. You can actually soften the entire um, picture by simply putting one of these transparent squares over the top and just adjusting the transparency and layering, putting something else over the top. Or you can just use it to be a little text section where you can, here we go, arrange, put it back behind all of the elements that are behind it. And what you can do then is simply create a different color. So we go up here to the little color box and we can change that color to whatever we want. And again, if you want to change it specifically to any different shade, it's just a matter of picking your color to start with and then choosing your shade. And once you've got your shade, you can go back to transparency and you can make it a little lighter again. So you really do have a lot of options and choices with colors and the various strength of the color. You can come back to transparency. You can make it completely a block color or you can make it as transparent as you like just for something a little bit different. So there's lots of cool things that you can actually do. Uh, what else do you think you might need to know? Let's have a look. You could put your website into maybe either the bottom corner or center it at the bottom. And again, you could uh, decide that's a bit too large for you there. You don't want it to overpower the message, so you make it smaller. You could also use your logo. So I'll get my logo for you here. So I've got a lot of uploads to the side. It's great because it remembers everything that you upload. So it's just a matter of going and finding whatever it is or uploading new pictures that you specifically want to use. Please, please, please make sure that whatever photos you decide to upload, you own. If you upload um, a photo that you have grabbed from somebody else's website or from somebody else's social media, if they see it and they're not happy that you have used their photo without permission, you may receive a letter of some kind and uh, be asked to immediately take it down or pay a fee. Now, there has been a lot of stuff that's been going around in the last uh, year where a lot of different people in business, uh, entrepreneurial business, uh, and online businesses have uh, got caught out and have had letters being sent to them because they've been accused of using a particular photo that wasn't theirs. So please, 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 if you take a lot of photos yourself 
and there's lots of different ways to use your camera and natural light to create beautiful, beautiful photos that you can use on your social media. Um, if you haven't taken them yourself, please make sure that you have purchased them from proper stock photo websites. There's a lot of different stock photo websites out there. You can just do a, a search for stock photos and you can often purchase a pack of photos at the one time and it'll just keep your credit there for whenever you choose to use some of your credit and purchase your photos. They're the photos to use on your website for professional photos unless you get some photos done of yourself. You don't have to worry about anybody uh, trying to tell you that they're their photos because they're yours and they're of you. But please do protect yourself when it comes to putting um, graphics up on your website. You must own the content, which is why it's such a great idea to come and use uh, a website like canva.com. There is also another one called pickmonkey.com. So pickmonkey is P-I-C monkey.com. And it's a similar uh, platform like canva.com where you can go and use free elements as well as pay to create your social media content or any kind of content that you need that uses graphics. So as you can see, this picture here is coming alive now and you can do whatever you like with it by just simply making some changes. Now, if you wanted to change the space between, you come up to spacing, you can actually change the line height to be longer, to be wider apart or closer together, completely up to you. And you can also change the letter spacing. So if you find a font but it's not quite right or you can't get it to fit in that section of your graphic the way that you want it to, you can change the letter spacing to squeeze them together or to put them further apart. So it's really up to you. That's the beauty of Canva is that you can take something and completely change it and create it to make it specifically unique to your brand or feel of your coaching business. So these are some of the cool things that you can do in Canva. You can create all kinds of stuff in here. You can use all kinds of different designs, different fonts, changing the, the number of the font, the size of it, choosing your own color and really customizing it to your business brand colors. You can, not all of them, for example, uh, Aileron Thin, can be italicized, it comes italicized, or you can bold it. But for example, some of these other ones, they're not able to be bold. So that's why you've got such a selection of fonts. Some of them will already be bolded, some you can bold again, some won't, some you can italicize, some you can't. But you've got such a cool selection here. And my advice is when you pick a font that you really, really love and you pick a template that is perfect for putting up a quote, then that template is something that you can use to reuse and keep the same font, keep the same colors or slightly change them. And all you need to do then is just change the background picture or change the layout a little bit. And you have a set of branding images and ready-made memes or quote templates that you can reuse all the time to keep your brand consistent across all of your social media platforms. So, uh, what we might do with this one, just to show you how it's done, is we'll create, just get rid of it. We might create a really uh, lovely little quote here. I like those. Uh, it's not really my colours, but um, I do quite like that. But anyway, let's create a little quote here. Now you can also immediately change your font to uppercase or lowercase if it allows you to. So you can immediately have that change and that difference instead of retyping everything, which is a really good thing to do. Actually, I might just show you. So, so let's say follow your dreams is in capitals and we want to actually change that. We click on it, go up here and click on uppercase to turn it off and it will immediately put it to lowercase and again we can change it and make it uppercase so really you can just have a play and see what you like and what looks best and what's going to work for what you're looking for okay so you can have it centered you can have it to the left or to the right whatever is going to work around the picture that you have so that it's going to look the best that you can get it now we're going to put a lovely quote on here. Now, 
Here we go. And because I want to have a little bit of text, just a little bit now, to put my quote person on, I'm going to align it up and I'm going to write who the quote is from. There we go. And what you can do then is you can actually move it across so that the text lines up. And what you could do then is make it a bit smaller if you wanted to, or a bit bigger, up to you, make sure it's aligned. And there you go. And what you could do is if you didn't want to put your website and this is going on uh, maybe, say if this was going on Instagram, you might say your Instagram name. And you might even put that down in the bottom right hand corner so that people on your Instagram, if they repost it, or even if they share it on Facebook, they'll have your at sign. Because now if you put your at Instagram name on Facebook or Twitter, uh, or even LinkedIn, then if that's the same at sign that associates the same name across all social media platforms, it will immediately recognize that person and tag them. So that means that if they say, oh, I got this repost from at such and such, if they share that to their Facebook or their Twitter, et cetera, it will tag you automatically. So good to know that. So there you go. That's, uh, that's how you can use Canva and some really cool things you can do with it. So that, uh, you know, you could, I mean, you could spend hours playing with this. You absolutely could. And in the beginning, you just might <laughs> while you're getting used to using it. But you can create any kind of, of um, graphic that you need and run with it, create whatever you like. So I hope you've all enjoyed uh, learning how to use Canva and all the cool things that you can do with it to create some fantastic graphics that are very uh, cheap or free using canva.com or pickmonkey.com. And you can do so many things. I actually create birthday templates out of this and I'll show you what I mean. Today is my, uh, my nephew's 21st birthday. He's graduated from uni a couple of months ago in film. And um, he's very much into film. So I created this for him this morning. <laughs> so it didn't take me too long. You'll probably find it'll take you a little bit longer in the beginning to get used to Canva and all the things that you can do with it. But once you have a bit of a, a practice with it, you'll be surprised at how quickly you can whip up a really great graphic, an invitation, uh, a post for Facebook, um, a reminder that you're having a live webinar at such and such a time, or announcing a free giveaway, announcing you'll be live on Facebook at such and such a time today, free workshop, come talk to me, Q&A. You can create all these things within Canva and you can share it with your own unique brand and colors and um, make it yours. So hopefully you now have some inspiration to create some beautiful graphics to share your business, your brand and your message with the world. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope it's been helpful. Bye.